Hello, 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 everybody. Ooh. I feel like I am not front and center properly in the screen. Which way should I be moving to? I should move a bit aside so that I'm properly in the middle of the of the camera hello 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 good morning good afternoon good evening how is everybody today let me just lower the volume a bit to balance things out hello citrus oh thank you glad you like that screenshot how are you doing talonin mr talonin himself how are you, Metro Titan? Metro Titan D78. Hello. Andrew. Andrew. Pritek? Pritek? I'm sorry if I'm mutilating your surname. I do apologize. Hello, hello, hello. Vladimir. A popular name. How are you? Citrus, you say you won't be able to watch the stream. Ah, no worries. At least you popped by to say hello. Really appreciate that. I cannot pronounce that person's name. Hello, Rari. Hey, I feel like this thing is cutting my head off. Let me just try and adjust this thing just a little bit. You know, I do have like a top of my head here. I hope that's I did not over adjust it. Yeah, I think that's better. There we go. There's a little bit of space between my head and wherever is hello hello no fell i'm sorry like my my russian buddies i cannot pronounce your name that's because they like some other language that i completely can't recognize no fell no fell v hello for for me gary marvin woods another popular name welcome 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 how's everybody doing rados love Washik, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. I don't know. Lillian Carrier, I am well, thanks. How are you? Vladimir says, I haven't watched so much of this series because I always miss your voice. Ah, oh, this will be the perfect introduction. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. And you know what? That's actually a thing. That's one of the things that I'm trying to do. I am. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do different things so i'm gonna try and do more well let me not say more streams necessarily but i figured that i will not keep streams to just one city i will try and do streams of other cities as well and try and open it up to people like yourself who who want to hear my voice or some people that want to see me building things live so yeah priyat hello 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 i made sure i'm early for the stream today can't wait to spend time in tando ah priyat so glad you are here can't wait to get this going as well i see talent and bring some coffee awesome awesome will the penguin ever so generous thank you so much thank you thank you thank you been a while since i joined your stream ah as long as you join from time to time, I am happy. And you can always catch all, catch them all up on the board. Thank you so much for that donation. I really, really appreciate it. Peter Rudolph from Germany. Hello. Hello from South Africa. Glad to have you back, Will the Penguin. Yo, Mitch. Yo. <laughs> Your name is Alexander. Okay, Alexander. Nice to chat, meet you. So your name that's spelled there, is that actually spelled Alexander? That's very interesting. Fabio from Brazil. Welcome, welcome. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me on the stream today. Really, really appreciate it. I thought today I would do something different. I didn't really feel like battling with the snow map today. Didn't feel like getting back into River Valley just yet. And I'm I'm hoping that most of you have seen the last episode of Tando. After planning it all out, I wanted to just fill up a small little gap. It's just a residential area that I want to do. I want to try, guess what, zoning in City of Tando. 
I haven't zoned in any of my cities before, but I thought I would give it a try. I got these these awesome big suburbs assets and I want to try zone a district with just those assets and then have it have it grow out. You know, this city is big. It's big. I don't think I want to spend time placing every single house every single episode it gets monotonous so i want to try and do stuff like this a bit on stream see if we can cover a bit more ground you know sooner rather than later i suppose from ukraine with love you are awesome Voron joe thank you so much you are also awesome just by being here you are also awesome my channel is international meech indeed it is hey eh? every time i see all the different places that people people are during this stream i think it's fantastic okay and your name is pasha i hope i am pronouncing that right pasha and alexander welcome 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 do you think about doing a port doing my port bigger I'm I, I'm thinking about it. I actually want to add another port, more towards that side, closer to where the airport is going to be, and also feed. It's part of the reason why there's this this road that's running parallel to here. So if whoop, let's get in here, let's do this. So let's close you. So part of the reason why I built this is because of the plans that i have for this area so i'm with the airport going to sit around here i'm thinking of putting a port here that will connect up to the actual oil industry and it's kind of my reason for having a separate road altogether so there's going to be a whole story behind why this is here so probably not extend probably not extend this port so much we'll probably end it off we'll, we'll extend it a bit more into this area but that will probably be it and then the bulk and then probably have a second one that is slightly smaller that's kind of meant to be an older port of the town kind of thing so there will be something there for sure can't wait for the airport love the little town airport thank you Mitch. can't wait to build that airport too ara 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 is that supposed to be your name I don't know. Okay, all you people are speaking your own language. I have no idea what's going on here. Hey, Buzz from Uzbekistan. Nice. No, not Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Oh, is that supposed to be Uzbekistan? I don't know. Either way, welcome to the stream. Oh man, finally good to see a live stream. Squalof. Squalof the die. I'm not sure what how to pronounce that, but welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Jolie. Yeah, the city is massive, eh? And we're not even anywhere close to being done. And yeah, so you see, Will the Penguin, we've built we've built all this industry, right? And there are all these unique all these unique buildings that we've got all around here. See, none of them currently have any resources feeding into them. So now it's time for me to start setting up the surroundings. So get the ore mine going so that we can start processing metals and stuff like that. Get the oil industry going so that we can start getting in oil, plastics, all of that stuff. And then the farming industry to feed all of these. So the idea is I want every single industry to be present in this city. So the reason why I did City of Tando is really to go big and explore that, that industry's DLC to its maximum. So we're going to have every single thing. All these industries, by some point, must all be flowing with, with goods, materials, and just processing the living daylights out of it. It's part of the reason why the city has such massive, intricate like net road networks with these ridiculously huge and confusing things happening here and so on so yeah that's the plan we we definitely going to extend the industry a lot more hello from russia hello nikhal nick games welcome 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 didn't realize thunder had 85,000 <laughs> it's big it's getting big ah 
Bar. So it is Uzbekistan. Nice. Mm, how are you not lagging with that city? Really? Are you not seeing the lag? I thought, I feel like this is laggy. Well, it's not too bad. Actually, part of the reason why it's not lagging as bad anymore is because I've got a better graphics card. And I have, for the purposes of this stream, I have toned down the graphic details to low. I mean, the level of detail all the way down to low. And this really helps a lot. If I crank this up to high, I get something like three frames per second. But by keeping it on low, it allows me to be able to, to stream this city. I never thought I would ever be able to do it at all. So, yeah. I think that for city that is now industry is enough. Yeah, but look at this. It's doing nothing. So, we need to get it in. The This area here is not going to be more of this type of industry. This is where I'm going to expand to have like the fishing industry and stuff like that. And then more here will mostly be warehouses and a, a filler area. But yeah, that's that's the thinking. And we'll see how it goes. I watch your videos and drool over how beautiful it is for Ronjo. Thank you so much. That is such a kind word. Hey, concrete. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Going to be excellent when all in the all the industry stuff comes in. Yeah, I agree too. Uh, I think it's time to build some residential on the other side of the river where the port is situated. You mean this area? Well, we'll see. If if I don't hit all my limits, I definitely want to expand it into this area. It's fairly alright for the amount of detail I would say, but yeah, it's definitely lagging a bit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Will I build more slummy areas in Tando? Yes, I just don't know where yet. So that is still under planning. Yeah, Marvin Wood. So River Valley is not even remotely close to being anywhere intense on this. River Valley sits at 40 FPS minimum because there's barely anything happening there. With this, when I'm in this area, I'm getting, yeah, when I'm pointing at nothing, then I'm getting at like, 40 40 50 fps but then once i point to the city like now then it drops down to single digits actually you don't actually realize this, but it's actually sitting at like eh, it's about 10 fps which is actually not too bad all right cool would you live stream for little town i'd love to see a revisited possibly re Sheesh. Little Town highly unlikely because I hit the limits in Little Town. So I hit the node limit. I hit the network limits. I can't remember what the, all the other limits were. So it's highly unlikely I'll go back to Little Town. But let's see. All right. So everybody. So the idea today is I got, I got, I got, I got, I got some zoning going. So I'm going to zone this area because I want this place to just grow out quickly with residential areas. So I wanted to fill out this space with some residential areas before the overview episode for next week so what i want to do this stream is i want to put around put some commercials around this the stop and then we will plan out some road networks zone out this entire area with residential areas we'll set a theme for it and then have it grow out normally so the idea is all these areas that are going to be residential in the outskirts, most of them is going to be zoned out because the amount of time it took to place all of these individually is too much. So yeah, we will zone out most of these areas in time. Probably do these in the live stream since residential building is not really the most exciting thing. And then we will spend time doing the actual fun stuff like building the industries and other unique unique things like the airport and the racetracks and so on okay so that's the plan today let's let's get into it let's see how far we can get hopefully i can fill out this whole area hopefully but yeah uh i just want to see something boo -boo -boo. Hello, G800VX7. <laughs> My computer will explode if I run a city like this. You'll be surprised. Your computer will shock you. 
Hmm? You will be surprised. Next week, at the end of next week, with next week's episode, I'm going to stick the save game on the workshop. So, yeah, you can look out for that. Episode 30 save game will be coming up and feel free to grab it and play with it yourself. So I kind of figured in in real life, right? This a place like this next to next to a stop like this will probably have quite a bit of commercial development. So that's that's what we're going for in and around the space. That it's it's a highly highly developed well not highly developed, but just some small commercial spaces in and around this area. I want to get some electricity here. We don't have... That's one thing I didn't... I never set up in cities... In in this city is... Is... Uh, what's this thing? Actual electric... Electrical pipeline... Pipe... Blah, blah, blah. Electrical poles and stuff. I never really did that. I don't know why I never did that. We can just call it pure laziness. But yeah, well, it is what it is. Ugh, can I just disable this? And what I want to then do is I just want to run. I want to, uh, no, it can't run in the, in the bushes. That would not be cool. So, you know what? Let me get rid of this. and let let's just do i want to get it to this side uh, i want to build i'm gonna build stuff in here so i want to keep i want to keep spaces between you know what let's do this let us put let us put like a a station a station type thing around here or a little electrical substation we'll say and then what I'll do for now is I will hide where are you there, there you are we'll hide a couple of these we'll hide a couple of these underground cool so now we've got power connected up to here I actually don't like this. I think these are too big for a residential area. So let's kill these. I want to grab that. Uh, where am I? Boop, boop, boop. Build some eastern type district for me. For Uzbekistan. I know very... I know nothing about Uzbekistan's style, but... We'll look into it. We'll look into it and see what we can put together. And then what we'll do is... I'm going to have residential areas all along the space. So... Let's run... Let's run the... I want to have elect, I want to have commercial space here. You know what? Let's finish doing this area. And then I'll connect up the power along on the outside uh, would little town even load after so long i'd imagine some of the mods and assets have yeah i would i would also think so actually what i would, i was meaning to try to try and load it some time ago but i completely forgot but it's definitely something i would like to give it a try again and see see what will happen uh, you know what let's get let's get where are you where are you where are you I wanna stick I know they are set I wanna stick down but here we go I wanna put this chap this chappy here and give you uh I think there's some mods that remove some of the game limits. 
yeah so i had all of those mods to date as far as i know there's nothing that removes that removes um what's this thing the network network and node limits so if you know of a mod that does it please do let me do let me know how big are you oh are you too big yes you are just too big oh no i'd have loved to have this playground here but okay so what i want to do is i want to just try and have a small park in this space can i check something how are these benches ah cool so no they will need to be spaced nicely uh, uh mitch how do you, how am i creating time lapses so i record my videos and then afterwards i import them into into my video editor and then i just speed it up by i speed city of tando videos up by six six hundred percent so six times and i do nomasburg ones at five times and i do that purposely because i want i want city of city of tando to have a slightly more busier feel to it so because of that I've got a slightly different speed for it and I want Normansburg to feel a bit more chilled so it doesn't it doesn't go as fast so I hope that answers that oh I love this new mod that I got this parking parking snap snapper whatever it's called I don't know what the mod is actually called but I think it is amazing Okay, let's do that. Cool. So we've got a slight space there. Uh, hey, Sanctum, don't you think a metro would be more appropriate than a monorail line given the length and scale of the monorail line? Yes, probably. Probably right. But I made a decision very long ago, right at the start of this, that I was going to use... I was going to use um, what's this thing monorails to connect everything and so yeah that's really it I've never used a monorail system before not a lot of people that I watch use monorails either at least not in a large scale so I just want to use it it's it's not meant to be uh, what's this thing realistic or anything like that I just want to use the monorail to connect up everything really because i can and let me just cover up the space hello Hello, Eva, Evan Walker. Sorry, I just checked again on your channel because in Asia, especially Indonesia, our time is much different and now in Indonesia it's 3 a.m. Hey, I am super glad just to have you here at 3 a.m. I really, really, really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just want us to get... No, I don't like that bench. I love this bench. I want to get some of these benches in in play here. Okay. Now you can park here, but for whatever reason, you cannot go through there. I don't know why. I love how the cars just start arriving once you build. by the way i think let me because if i if i set up uh 
two 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 six in Nepal. Wow. I feel very honored when I see people coming coming to the stream at these <laughs> incredible hours. Thank you so much. So I wanna connect up the monorail here. Just so that we can get no, I don't want to create new drag. There we go. So we can get this in place. So that we can start seeing the monorail at least coming. Coming in. Boom. Cool. So I should have the two stops there. And we should now be seeing monorails coming in and out of this place. Okay, hang on, let me just catch up to this. Hey, black in 4K, it's 10 p.m. here as well, so we're pretty much the same. Is it possible to spend some of my previous donations on a property in Tando? Of course, well, the Penguin. We can get you, we'll get you something even in this area if you want. That is not a problem. Let's see, one of my favorite people. Unfortunately, the only method that is overridable is a tree limit. Yeah. Yeah, so I do use the tree limit. I think right now, if I can even check. See, right now I'm even over the, the usual tree limit of 25,000, uh, 250,000. So that is pretty cool. I have managed my limits very well in City of Tando because I knew they were coming. So you can see for my network and nodes, I am not even halfway there yet which is fantastic and even user props i'm not even halfway to that yet so i learned a lot from city from the little town days so that has actually helped me manage a lot of this much better mm, yep the snapping mod is awesome i assume the rest of the areas will be suburbs most of them but not all of them mm -hmm. The game allows you to do whatever you want, so might as well grab the opportunity. Uh, underground waters are too close, that's why overgrow. Okay. okay. Hey, hello, Chris. Hey, Chris. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Super glad to have you. Let's get this out of the way because we're going to get rid of it completely. Uh, Stress. Strukitru, Strukitru asks, is this city based on any real place? It's not on any specific area, but it is inspired by multiple places. So I took a lot of inspiration from, uh, what's this? Uh, Vancouver, Canada and, and Singapore and my own Joburg to some, to some degree. So yeah, I, I like i like to to say i i'm taking like the best or the things that i like about different places and putting them together what i love about singapore is the greenery and i had wanted to do a, a bit more of that in the downtown but uh, i guess i didn't plain and simple okay let's see so i what i want is the commercial space to spread out just a little bit and then we'll have a, a, a string of commercial here and a little bit here. And then we will zone out the rest with residential. Uh, won't be able to stay long, just decided to stop by to say hi. Oh, Citrus, yes, I saw your message earlier about that. So that's all good. I am just glad you popped by. I appreciate it. Okay, let's get, I want to get this in here. So this is where they drive. This is where the parking is. And then we can just have something here. I'm just looking for any excuse to use this awesome mod. Like, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Boom. Oh, the way it just snapped. It's so satisfying. Thank you, thank you. This is just amazing. It is just amazing. 
if you could place one or two offers in the center of the suburb it would be a more obvious it's the center of the sub ah agreed with you 100 percent agreed with you i was thinking of putting high residential area high density residential but maybe i suppose an office block or two wouldn't hurt hmm maybe on this side rather yeah i think maybe rather on that side Mm. Would you consider having double decker buses in your city like Singapore, Hong Kong, and my native London? I do have actually. They're part of my my uh what's this thing? Networks. The I have a double decker bus somewhere. It's not like the types, the exact types you have in London, but yeah, they're there. They definitely there. Chris, thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though you're not staying long, you're still being super generous. I really appreciate the generosity. Too much very close intersections, don't you think? Yeah, have you seen have you seen residential areas? Residential areas generally have crisscrossing roads left right and center that's the whole idea and it's not because it's uh, let me not say it's not because it's usually because you know the the growth that those sort of places experience no that's too tall the sort of growth that those places experience is never planned and then you end up with this out of control set of 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 roads you know so i actually i actually want i actually want that in this space so the idea is you can imagine this whole place was there already and when i guess the local government expanded the monorail into this this place because there was no space they built it on top of an existing road so yes there are a lot of intersections and there will be a lot of intersections and that is going to be on purpose. Okay. No. I do actually, actually want, actually want, let's actually get something like this here. Um, no, not yet. I think this is too early. I think I should just stick to I should still stick to the to these. Ooh. Okay, you will do. Hey, water is not wet. Person with the best name. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Does the parking lot snapping work with a parking road distorted with node controller? Hmm. That is a good question. I'm sh I I am pretty sure it will work. Based on what I've seen so far, I will not be surprised if it works, but I don't know for sure. Does this no, it's got parking here. I don't want it to have parking. I want to have something like this that I can just kind of hide. Is it is the is hide the right term? Yeah, I want stuff like this. A building like this. So this is cool. I like this. This can be here. Mm, what else? Do you have parking? Yes, you have parking. And how are you shaped up that way? So you're not good enough. No, you to ooh. Maybe here and here. What if I have that? Is that too much? I think that's too much. Mm. Hey, is there a light rail or metro rail in Tando? There actually isn't. So I've been thinking, I've been thinking of of getting that in. But I'm not sure, I'm not sure 
how yet but i will i will i would love to get to get that in it's something that i've been i've been thinking and planning for a while we'll probably demolish large areas of the city to get it in but i actually want to no man i'm talking rubbish sorry i'm 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 thinking of the the train system yes there is there is um light light rail is there is light rail light rail is uh what's this thing um what's the what's this thing that drive on the road man <laughs> it escapes me but there is no metro system even though it was initially planned i haven't actually connected up anything but I've, i want to i definitely want to oh no why do you all have parking lots Metro Titan, you love how I customize builders by ex adding extra detail. Thank you so much. I am glad. But finding the right buildings here now is proving to be a bit of a challenge. How would you fit? Let's see. Okay, that actually works. That actually works out nicely. Yeah, that actually fits. Cool. I'll keep that. We'll keep that. And then what we'll do is we will stick. We will stick something here. Let's put you here and you there. And I think we can do this this one so we're gonna create like a little a little loading zone and these are generally generally fairly straightforward just put a couple of crates down you need to be like so uh let's put let's give you a track head how this chap you got in there nah that's that's too unrealistic there's no way you'd have this there's no way not with this here there's no way so let's rather say hmm can this guy navigate boop 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 Oof. Nah, that would be too close. Uh, trams, yes, Krista, thank you. Talonin, thank you. Trams, <laughs> trams is what I was looking for. Completely escaped me. Mm, such a huge fan of your cities. It's not even like playing the base game anymore. And more like modeling, model building. Above all, it's true art what you do. Keep it up abysmal horizon thank you so much for those kind words i really really appreciate it thank you thank you thank you water is not wet being ever so generous thank you so much i really appreciate it really really appreciate it water is not wet thank you thank you thank you still best name ever uh, let's just put down some small trash and let's give Let's give you as well. Oop, there we go. Hey, doggy woof woof bark bark. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Another person with an awesome name. I'm loving it. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, what's it called? Okay, so I, I see my issue here now, and I gotta get rid of this. Mm. It's like what your little kid play with toy trucks. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Okay, let's do this. Now let's get... Actually, you know what? Let me do this. And... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, shame, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's a tad bit too late. But it doesn't really matter. It's already parked. Let's unlock you. Let's get you right there. Cool. And then I can put... Will you fit? No, that's too much. Mm. Let's get one there. And then, who are you? Hmm. Can I use you the way it is? No. And we can do that. So there's at least something that looks like a no parking, no parking area, allowing trucks to get in. I think that's a bit better. Why don't you have water? Didn't I put water here? Oh, I did. But I guess not very well. And let's just get water in between the two. And here. Cool. So since we're gonna we're gonna zone out this entire area, so uh hi sanctum i'm a big fan of your work on both tando and nomasburg keep up the good work love from turkey thank you so much Aaron. thank you thank you thank you glad to have you on the stream medved my eyes game is look too bright and contrast oh really i'm so sorry but i like this color the color contrast of this it is kind of what i want i want it to be well i suppose another thing from this direction is much brighter because the sun is shining from that side so maybe that's also a contributing factor okay now what i want what do i want to do here i want to close off I should close off this space but i'm going to use a wooden fence so that's another thing I tried to do is I tried to alternate between props and and networks. Oh, it's it's such a delicate balance, the city of Tando. To make sure that I don't I don't hit any limit anytime soon. Let's, no, I don't I don't want this one. Let's use this one. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Let's stick this one down. And then this can be... Boop. There. Cool. Great. And then here... Oh, no. Let's go back to this. I could do something like... Mm, boop. And boop. There we go. But let's try and do it properly. You can go. And then we put this one right there. So the trash has got a slight... A slight little... I don't know. Something. And then we can put... What's this thing? Trucks. And now we can put down... Hmm. What did I want to put the last time? I don't want to put an oil tanker. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? Somebody's logistics. What is written on this track? Usen Logistics. Whatever, whoever Usen is. I don't know who Usen is. Huh? Track. Where's that trailer? I want to put that trailer down. I love that trailer. Have I completely lost it? Uh -huh. 
Searching. Okay, let's try. Unless it's not a prop. Ugh, you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna use. Let's take this one down. And we will put one of you. So this chappy is doing deliveries. And. Ooh, that's a lot. And there are some that are parked away. Packed away over there to be dealt with. Sweet. And then we can just stick this down to complete the area. Cracks. Ooh. I like that. So this looks like something. Something of old that was. That has just maybe always been here or something. And we can put some of these crackies down in this area. And then. No, that's too much. There we go. Boom. I feel like this area is too clean. It would be nice if I could stick a little something here. Mm. <laughs> a doggy woof woof <laughs> doggy woof woof bark bark best name next to water is not wet uh, what could we stick here ah, let's just put down the planter Am I building up a town matching to Denver? I don't know what Denver looks like. <laughs> That's the honest truth. So, no. If it ends up looking like Denver, that is a pure coincidence. But I have no idea what Denver looks like. Actually, let me do this one. I like this one. You can be... We can just say these chappies have at least something, some attempts to make. A stack of shopping trolleys would look good alongside. It would look good if this asset didn't already have a stack of trolleys. No? So just give them that and let's, let me just leave it be. I haven't got any green in all of the spaces, and this is unlike me. I want some green here. Uh, where is it? I want some green here. Hello, traffic time. Welcome, welcome, traffic time. How are you? How are you? How are you? Oh, yes, I wanted to put something here as well. And then, yeah, this is fine. So let's grab this one. This needs to go down a little bit. I think you as well. And then I'm going to want to put down. You will do. And not too much. Mm, not too much. Hmm, do you fit? Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then let's just paint it all out. I think I want to just try and raise. Let's just raise this one just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Elevated. Fantastic. Uh, hello, not boy scout from thailand high speed patrol hey you thank you thank you thank you so much really really appreciate it generosity is very highly appreciated thank you thank you thank you okay so what i want to put here now is I'm just gonna put a little 
path here. Little shortcutty thingy. And actually, let's do this. Let's move it back a little bit. Uh, Jolie, how do you get the hill top to be snowy? I changed my sand texture. So my sand texture is a snowy texture. And I basically just paint over it. So I can just demonstrate that to you quickly. Is if you see my sand texture here. When I paint it, it's white and it looks snowy. And that's about it, really. Hmm. I want something in this little corner. But I don't know what. What if we put down a... I guess we put down one of these. Uh, which one can I use? Can we use one of this? That's too wide. So maybe just one. Just one. Yeah, just a nice coffee spot. Medved Sanctum. Just wanted to wish you a good mood and beautiful day or evening. Don't know where do you live, but I think somewhere in Europe. Medved, thank you so much for your good wishes. I actually live in South Africa, which is all the way, well, I suppose, obviously, in Africa. But we, I am roughly on the same timeline as, well, some European countries, I suppose. So, yeah, thank you very much. I wish you also a good mood and awesome awesome day evening or morning wherever you are boom and let's just do boom done I wanna stick these here but they are too big so let's take these smaller ones boom here we go so at least we've got a small little cafe where people can chill and eat oh you know what i like your coffee truck idea as well vladimir oh sorry your food truck Oh, food truck, coffee truck, like uh, Taladin suggests is actually also not a bad idea. So what if, no, there's garbage there, so we can't do that here. These spaces are all occupied, so we can't do that there. Ah, uh, nah, that's fine. We'll consider this place, we'll consider this place pretty much done for now. And I want to put a slight buffer. No, let's use this one rather. Uh, wrong place to build a coffee place right behind the junk. Oh, you. Hmm. Well, look at it this way right look at it this way that it was there before the shop came along and the shop didn't care but they still built it and since this isn't really meant to be any kind of upper class type thing nah. it is there and the people who are here don't know what's here <laughs> what's on the other side at least that's what i'm going for so here's so I just wanna put a little buffering space here. Okay, and then from this point on we'll have some residential areas. That's the idea. Okay, cool.
cool. So we've kind of got some space around this. Now I want I want a few more here. Hey, hey, there he is. There he is. He's got 16 passengers. I love it. I kind of wish the monorails were actually slightly bigger looking though. I feel like they're too small and skinny. But that's just me. Let's see if we can put something along here. Mm. Okay, I don't understand which language is, is being spoken right now, so. But I see Talonin is right in there speaking the language. Mr. Versatile himself. What if I don't actually... What if I just leave the commercial spaces here? No, I don't think it's... No, I want to have... I want to have something. At least... At least like a... Like a cross of commercial space. That's what I want. So let let me let me see. I think I'm due to find a few more a few more thing a few more shops now. But I'm so worried about getting more assets because wow, I feel like I have too many at the moment. Mm, yes, no, no. I think this is too much. What are you? Have I used you already? Yes, I have. So, no. So, what's interesting about this is this gives us a little bit of height, which is not a bad thing. It gives us a little bit of height around here. But I don't like the color of this building, it's too dark. Oh, it's already the lightest it can be. Oh, and it doesn't even change color. Okay, so no. That's not gonna work. Oh. Let's see what else we can get. By the way, I'm actually making money in the city. I'm amazed. Uh, so let's see. What are you? You're a skinny building. Should I have a Mickey D's here? Hmm. Restaurant close to where this is? Nah, not you. Yeah, I'm also, I'm, I'm actually surprised that I have a positive cash flow, but it fluctuates. It fluctuates quite wildly. Okay, so we got a, we got some fry guys here. Let's put you a little bit like so. And then <laughs> streaming tando PC must be melting. Hey, it's holding up. It's holding up, Frankie Mon not so bad just yet i'm not seeing any smoke coming from it so it's all good we'll keep going until i see the smoke let's stick this down okay and then uh No, I haven't. Good. I'll put this one. We can put this chappy here. And then ooh, what we can do is <laughs> it's my heater for the house. I like it. I like it. Uh -huh. There we go. So we can then actually wait before I do that. Let's do this. And then what we can do is take 
this asset i love this asset this asset allows me to like make things look look so much cooler to give like areas of cars driving i love that so it looks like that's the path that the cars take all the time cool sweet now the the kind of look that i'm going for when i build these sort of areas right is where the commercial spaces are i want it to look very concretey so you see a lot of concrete even from afar and then as it blends into the residential spaces it becomes it becomes greener and that's why i generally like to put a lot of concrete around it i think that's that looks realistic ish to me because when i look at google maps the aerial views always always seems to have the commercial spaces looking very gray so i try to capture that feel as best as i can okay i think i'm i'm out of decent build decent uh, what's this thing commercial buildings now it's time to get a few more because the only ones i have left to use are like huge and i don't really want to use huge ones see like this is massive i don't want i don't want like a huge shopping center in this area what can i do with you okay what are you oh no i've put you already why do i keep why do i keep grabbing this like i've not used it like 50 million times we can use we can stick stick this down in out burger Donation for the 4K fund, Mr. Talanen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Your generosity week in, week out is incredible. Thank you so much, Talanen. Really appreciate it. Let's see. So this is a large curb. Meh. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. 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 No, not convinced. School sports center. There will be a school but not around here so this area will be purely residential and i want to put a school somewhere here so that it sits between this residential area and the residential area here and that's why there isn't going to be any school here but the school will come somewhere in this vicinity that's the idea So I try to plan the layout in such a way that it it will fit in with the final product, if that makes sense. So if I don't want to put this, I don't want to put. You often find that a lot of my builds don't have a lot of resource, uh, well not resources, man, uh, amenities close by, and that's because of how I am planning out the cities as best as i can so that it's it's spread out all over Ugh, that's crappy mm, i feel like i haven't been here forever been working saturday sunday so bedtime has been very early hey you're here today and that's all that matters I don't know it's too it's too much so this is too much i don't think it's it fits what if what if i don't what if i just do this what if i just do this what if i just take you and i just do that 
I mean, it's not everything that is always like 100% hunky dory, but nah, it doesn't really, it doesn't work. I'm not a, I don't like it. I don't like it. So you, bye bye. You don't belong. Let's find something else. Uh, maybe some bushes around the perimeter. Ah, you see, that's what I was trying to. So we're gonna have, we're gonna have this here. So we'll have some bushes. We'll have some bushes here. And then we'll stick in a couple of these small ones. But then here, I don't want, I don't want there to be, I'm not really sure what I want around here. So I want to make it look like cars can drive in. So I just want, I just want more commercial space in this space, in this area, but nothing too big. See, I love the way these buildings look, but I don't have these sort of buildings. I love the way they look and I think they will be a nice fit, but I've used it there already, so I don't want to use it here again. So I want to try and find another building similar to that that I can use. Now, I've used this as well, but it's hidden in, in another building. So I could probably get away with it. But I want to leave a bit of a gap here, and then we're going to put some planters along along the edge so maybe have a couple of these man some of them can be closed that's fine um, good luck with the stream see you another time Vladimir thank you so much for being here really glad you joined us hope to catch you also in the next stream take it easy let's see so some of you can have like little cafes in front of them hmm. it looks like it's blocking the entrance but what we could do is put Put something like this down. So it looks like... What is this? I wish I had like a smaller version of this one. To be able to connect up these areas. Nicely. But we'll make do with what we've got. Make do with what we've got. Uh, Frankie Mon says, have you used those New Zealand assets in Tando? I really like those. Have plans to put them in my new build. I haven't used them yet. I'm not sure if I've, have I downloaded them. No, I don't have them in this. I haven't downloaded them here yet. But I have them in... In the river valley i think i got them in the river valley series but yeah i would definitely love to give them a try as well i think they would fit in quite nicely around here is this overkill if these guys took the time to put some flowers here i think it will depend on how oh so then these chap this chap here we go now something now something let's see let's see let's see let's see if i put so then i can close off yes what i want to do so let's close off these areas all the way up to here and then you will have a different one. 
like so. Okay, so that's completely closed off. This is this is that. So we stick these down. Stick a couple of these down. I wanna put down some trash because these guys don't really take care of themselves or take care of their environment. I'm gonna put down some piles. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You. Ah, that's overkill. We can paint. No, I'm not going to paint. Let's use. Uh -huh. Let's use this. Every time I use this asset, I don't know if concrete is still. I still here. Yeah, I think of concrete. Every time I type the name of that asset, I think of concrete. And dirt. Let's use dirt. Where are you? Okay. And then I want to take you. Stick these two down. And then just lower them a little bit. Ooh. Okay. So this does not fade nicely. Okay. Bye. Will this be too much? Let's see. And drop you, but there we go. That's better. Uh, woo. Close enough to reach. Uh, close enough to reach out 4K fund. Yeah, the only thing that's 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 left is. Is we we just need to sort out the monitor and we are done. Cool. I'm not going to overdo it there. This is cool. Uh, fry guys, Arby's, and now this cafe most likely serving fried food. You are going to need a hospital in the area for the people. <laughs> I like it. I, li I like that. You know what? I, because of that. Let's give them let's give them a small clinic. Shall we? Let's give them a small clinic because you are right. People here are going to be having heart attacks. So let's give them a small clinic so that nobody here hopefully just drops dead. You know what? I'll I will shift you around. Ooh. Let's do that. Actually, we can make since it's a since it's a clinic. We do this. And then what I would love to do is The entrance is only here. Um, hey, Xerox. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. I think you're too long for the say. Oh, no, you are not. Oh, I love this mod. It just perfectly fits everything right in. Boom. Ooh, look at that. People are already having heart attacks. And we're not even aware. Cool. Now what I can then do is... Actually, let's do this one. Let's do... Let's do a... Let's do so. Let's do so and all the way to here and then across there we go so at least we got people walking and let's see can i remove this i 
Okay, I remove that, but that also removes here. Hmm. That's fine. It's fine. No, I'm not going to do this. Let's do... I haven't used a hedge in a while, actually. too big hey i think these are big yeah let's try to use the juniper okay there we go i think the space is a little too empty for my liking a little too empty for my liking let's do this Ooh. Why is it so light? Is this not level? It is level. I want to put maybe a couple of these around here. Oh no, it's actually too high. Okay. Hmm. Heart attack, more like private clinics and <laughs> Hey Nico. Welcome Nico. What are we doing today? Today we are building a we are working on city of Tando. So we're building a small little neighborhood. Just as a quick expansion before we finish it off and go into our overview. So let's just dirty up this place a little bit and let's just give you some, let's give this area just a little bit of life. Ooh, no, that's not working out. Move it to the rescue. Oops. And then I want to do this hedge props. Uh, you, 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 and you. There we go. I think that's all right. That's cool. I'm considered that clinic area done. And then all I want is, all I want is just a commercial, something commercially here. I don't know what though, but I just want a commercial building that will fit here perfectly. That would be like the best. But I think this space might be a tad bit too big. Ooh. Okay, uh, hmm. you know what, uh, mini, mini chipper, you've made a point, let's do this, let's grab, let's grab these, shift them all the way down, shift you let's completely fill that up and then we'll do this mini chipper we're gonna put down a space here for i suppose your set your hearses i want to I will assume if there's a place like here where I'm going to be taking out corpses, 
I don't want any Tom, Dick and Harry seeing it. So we will close it off a little bit. And there we go. So they'll wheel that dead body out and then come stick it in here. And in fact, really? How do I not have an amb ambulance? There we go. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that. And then that. And boom. Cool. Mini chipper. I hope. <laughs> I am glad. So at least we, we can wheel out the, the dead people safely there at the back somewhere. This is what's nice about the streams, actually. Because that's something that I did not even think about. It didn't even cross my mind to have to have something like that so yeah i want to see something so if i've got my buffer okay so the parking is on this side mm. build arby's laboratory meet people at $3.99 a piece. Do I have an Arby's? Let's see if I have an Arby's. I have an Arby's, but I've used I've used this one already up up there. That's my only thing. Where did I use it? I use it. Oh, you know what? We'll get away with it. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get away with it. Let's do this. So I'm going to stick it right here. Can you show where you place recycling garbage in relation to the rest of the city? Always struggle to decide whether it should be in the industry or far off. So I generally tend to place it close to the industry. I actually haven't officially built it in, in the city yet. What I do have is just a bunch of recycling plants that are littered all over the place to give me that, to give the, the city the services that it needs. So I've got one random one sitting there. I've got one random one sitting there. And then I've got a whole bunch of random ones sitting there. So I haven't actually built one for the actual city yet. It's just some random thing that I've placed down just to make the city happy. What's the Arby's laboratory? Where do I where do I come across Arby's laboratory? I don't know what that is. We don't have an Arby's in South Africa, so you got to excuse me. You've got to educate me let me see all right so what i'm gonna do now is now I'm missing out on hooters <laughs> do we have a hooters no i don't have a hooters sorry <laughs> let's just do so I want this place to just be random bush. Uh, what am I doing? Grass. And let's stick down. By the way, this grass assets are amazing. Look at that. Look at that looks like. Look at that. Look at this asset. That is just fantastic such a fantastic asset mr mason introduced me to it i can't remember who who actually made this asset but i think it's it's super super awesome mm. it's 
alive where are these turns people into meat <laughs> wow that does not sound brutal at all alrighty cool we've got commercial space we are an hour and a half in commercial space is pretty much done for here I wanna put I wanna put I wanna purposely do this so I wanna just have I wanna have this so I wanna have that here oh not that building not that road this one and then I wanna fill this block oh crap uh -huh. like the walking dead okay now i know alan michael you know what let's do it let's put let's put down a gas station let's put down a gas station actually i agree with you let's put one down we'll put it oh almost 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 where's the car wash oh the car wash comes out the other side no i don't want it to come out the other side if i turn it this way ha yes okay let's turn it this way then it comes out this way and then we can we can direct the people that come out of the car wash no let's not use that fence let me use let me close off this so we'll close it off here so they're forced to come out that way and like so cool so we've got a place for we've got a decentish place for these chaps to drive out <laughs> i don't think i don't think any of my streams have ever gone dark like this After Arby's came to town, Tando was never the same. <laughs> uh, people, people, people. I want to have... I want to have something here. I want to have something here. Can I use any of these? Can I stick down? So here um, are these too white? Yeah, these are too white. So King Leno has these. Oh, uh, they are also a tad. Well, are they? Let's see. Is this too much or does it does it work i would then use it to cover up but then there isn't really nah doesn't work bye i wanted i want this i want i want i want i want i want something this uh even this is too thick okay i'm gonna give up on that and we are going to I'm just thinking how what can we do here? What can we put in this space? Some sort of mechanic shop asset? I don't know if I have one. Police station. Well do I have an old 
ish looking one. I do, but oh, this is too big. I've never used a vanilla one before. Huh. Well, okay. I think we can keep this one here. Right? Should we keep it here? We can keep this one here and then have have this. Uh, put a couple of these. Put a couple of these here. And I actually just want. Oh, I would love to get an SAPS police car model. Oh, that would be fantastic. For those that don't know, SAPS is South African Police Service. They are just the best. They are just the best. We will do this. Just like that. Just like that, actually. Okay, no, fine. Let's 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 be let's be let's be a little generous. Let's connect them up. Let's actually connect them up. Where's the other point? There. So let's actually connect it up. And then yeah, I think that works. I think that works. Do I have any no, I don't have any like small dirt patches that I could have stuck here. But I could have always just find a small little bush. Too tiny. Let's stick these down. Okay, uh, I think I've seen a Golf SAPS model in the workshop somewhere. I will look for it. I will give it a try and see. Uh, hmm, let's see tanks what tanks do i have i've got i've got this let's see what we can do can we make you work let's put you down first you are definitely too big you are definitely too big you don't make sense you are too big you are not too big Okay, we're getting somewhere. Too big. Put and put. Okay, and then what we will then do is we will. We will definitely fence off this entire area like so and actually in fact let's just fence off this entire area so what this is is a place i have no idea what that place what's what happens here but something happens here i have no idea how people get in here but people get in here somehow and what they keep in here exactly is anybody's guess but let's hope is it's got nothing to do with rvs we can then close all of this off we can put down a couple of of use use and you so that gives that place a little bit of life we can put down some slides. Uh, you are busy. Eh, that actually works. I think that works. I like it. I like it, Frankie Mon. Frank Mon. Frankie Mon. I don't know how to pronounce your name, to be honest after how many months so whatever this place is it's, people obviously don't go there often 
So yeah, I actually like that. Let's give, let's do that. Okay, cool. We've built a lot. We've got this entire area filled out. I think that's pretty, it looks pretty decent. It's it's fairly fairly feasible to see a, a place that has this would have this area kind of developed quite heavily around it. So what I wanna do now is let's get rid of Okay Marvin Woods, thank you for the reminder. Let us save the game. Boo boo, where are you? There you are. Override. Oh. Cool. So we've saved that. Uh, not load. Save. I'm going to save again over my backup episode. So I always have three saves running. One that I, I don't save. So one that is kind of a representation of where I left off where I left off in the previous episode and then one that is the save as it is as I'm working with and then I immediately have a backup of that as well so I always have one point that I can always return to in all of my saves I try okay let's do this uh, I think <laughs> Thank you so much, people, for all reminding me to save. Uh, let's see. <laughs> save, 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 save. Okay, okay, okay. I have saved, saved, saved. Uh, actually, wait, let's see something. I actually would like, I actually want this area to be slightly like so. Actually, you know what? At this point, I am I'm coming to experiment now because I generally don't zone, so I've not used too many zoning tools before. So this is going to be my first real zoning attempt, to be honest. So I've got four, four. So I've got a lot of space here to just have like forest. Oh, I've got a gap. That's fine. It's fine if I have a gap. It's not the end of the world. Let's let's see. I want to. Oh, but it's two by twos. Okay, let's do this. I Should I do that? No. Let me let the houses occupy a lot of the space. And for here, I want the houses also. So we can have houses on all along this edge. I think I should have moved it down one bit because houses don't fit here. That's fine. I'll we'll put like, let's put like a park here. Actually, let's put one of these, these smaller parks. How big are you? You are very big. You are very big. I don't know what you are. Ooh. Nah, that old, that's too harsh. Let's see. Are you small enough? Yes, you are small enough. Good. You can stay. So we should then have some residential spaces in this area. Cool. Now this side, I'm going to bring you down. I won't zone anything along here. So the houses will sit on this side. We'll have, we can have trees in this one row. And what I want to do is I want this area then to be a little more densely packed. I 
I think this is what I want. I have no idea if this is what I want or not. Boop. Boop. Okay, let's see. I want to see what the zoning tool, what zoning will get me. I want something a bit more intricate that side. And we need to plan a proper ending to this. Okay. So here's what I want to try and do. Because I've, I've never done, I've never zoned anything before. So I'm going to zone out this entire area. Uh, this part of town is going to look a lot different than the rest when you start zoning. Well, I'm hoping not. And the reason I say that is... I want to use these houses, these assets. Now these are, these come in various sizes, two by twos, four by fours, and they've got even three by threes. So I've used a mix of high density and low density here, but I'm hoping that it will still all kind of have that same look and feel. I am hoping, but let's see. Uh, big oh not but big herb big herb so I'm going to take these roads this road actually and convert these to that because they those assets fit this look very nicely So I want to see how I want to see how it's going to it's going to pan out. Let's do that. So let's try it. Let's try it in in a small area, I suppose. Oh no, I can't undo. Ugh, I can actually just override it. Here we go. So let's see what this area looks like. Forgive the, the crappy zoning. I will make it look a little prettier later. Because I'm one of those that wants everything to follow like the roads. Ugh. Ugh, it's fine. Let me just do this. For now. Let's do that. All right, cool. So let's set this district style to big suburbs. And let me pause you quickly and see if I do, if I do this. No, no, you're not serious. The gaps. There are freaking gaps. I refuse to accept these. Let's grab these chappies. What is this? What are these? What in the world is that? It's not a node. It's a decal. No. It's a prop. No. What else did I have enabled there? It's a surface. What in the world? Is this a tree? It's a tree. I've got invisible trees here. Bye. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, need some this part of town is gonna okay need some pawn stores we need to get some pawn stores copy paste the same suburban over and over again because this isn't a real residential area this is the feeding lot of <laughs> that's rough uh, Gaps are good, otherwise you might end up with a bunch of 4x4 four four houses. That's actually a valid point you've made there. 
Okay, let's 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 zone it out and see. Let's see what will happen. All by itself, without me interfering. I am hoping that it will it will pick up and stick in some tools. This is the only thing. What's like blech. Yeah, all the way across. I wanna see what we're going to get. And let's get that. Okay. There is no three speed. It's virtually no good. So let's see what it's going to do. So it started off with a bunch of four by fours. I think where the gaps are, we can use them as places where we decorate. We decorate stuff. Okay, cool. So we've got a three by three popping up. That's good. It's a party. Yeah, I, I get that it's because the roads are probably not aligned, but I thought they would be. By the way, I haven't eaten anything much today, so I'm going to have a biscuit if you don't mind. I am having these things called eat some mores. Absolutely love these biscuits. They've got these like buttery tastes to them. Oh, they're fantastic. This is the first time I have ever zoned. E eat and drink, it's important. So I've heard. <laughs> So you've heard, I like it. Let's let's get these down. So unfortunately, this is not a build episode, so there is no time left that I can just hit for it to just start speeding off. So we all gotta be strong. Now, just the burger. That is awesome. Awesome. These are very awesome assets. When I use them, when I use them here, I realize how cool these things are. But if it, if we really get things that don't, if it doesn't really look cool, I will come back here. This is actually the main reason why I made this area a perfect grid so the idea is if zoning does not pan out then this is going to serve as my copy and paste block so i'll come and just copy and paste a lot of these all over the place so okay so it's still still trying to put in some some more houses So spaces like here, we can make these houses look like they've got bigger lots. But it's not too shabby. Ooh, something's going into my eye. Yes, that's my PC lagging. I think that's my PC lagging. So if I start looking at the CT Chris, then my PC suffers. I'm sure you'll you'll probably notice it, but if I'm higher up, it's not so bad. Oh, I know why it's lagging. Because look at that. I've got you lord on. There we go. Let's get back into lower detail. Then the lag is not so bad. There we go. So it's still lagging, but it's not too bad. At least now I can show off the entire city. Sorry, I didn't, re I had put on you lord to take some screenshots before before the the thing started the game started so I, i'm very curious to see if i can't remember the last time i saw a building actually up like what's the word ah look at that there it is it leveled up this is what i'm missing i wanted to turn i want to turn this on uh I 
actually no i don't need this ah sorry don't mind me turn that off ambient noise ambient sounds that's what i wanted so cool everything is upgrading but let's fast track it let's upgrade the entire thing also worried that I was it was gonna kill my PC's frame rate if I do that but nah, it's holding oh this might be a thing this might really save me a lot of time from now on what is going on here okay what there is a mod to stop building spawning on certain roads no idea yes i know i know well i don't know about stopping i know you can you can sort of stop an area from you can st yes yes stop a road from being zonable i know about that i forgot what that mod is called More people going to Arby's. <laughs> yeah, Marvin Woods. Like a boss. Like a true boss. So I want to see what the final product is going to look like once I level them all up to level 5. Because what I when you do it by hand, I generally tend to mix... Oh, wait. I'm sitting... Sorry, I, I generally tend to make, mix and match levels. But if everything is level 5, I want to see what it's going to look like. What level are we all on? These are on level 3. Cool, let's get to level 4. Boom. Whoa. Okay. Woo. At least these are not leveling up, right? <laughs> Good. I think they are historical buildings. Yeah, they're all marked as historical. Great. Great, 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 great. Is a dead level going up since... <laughs> you are still going on about your Arby's. <laughs> Okay, this is not too bad. But I suppose this is where you start feeling the effects of the monotony. Where things like this happen. Hmm. Okay, one more level up and let's see what happens. But I don't think this is going to work, eh? I think I'm going to have to do the copy and paste from that side. <laughs> baby goes from baby to childhood through puberty to adulthood. <laughs> Uh, dual shock no this is not the mining area so this is what we end up getting and it's rather monotonous there's no there's like no color here right we're not we don't have any red houses we don't have we don't have a variety they all yeah no that's a pity it doesn't look like the zoning will work for me but i think you can well an alternative because you can lock a building right to a zone so if i delete these two
you know what so chris i i i completely hate those those dead dead people so i've actually got a mod that just completely deals with dead people for me i do not like the dead people so i've got this mod which every time somebody dies it basically converts that dead person into a baby it's fantastic <laughs> i think you can lock you can lock a thing can't you i thought you could lock this oh that's a bummer i'm pretty sure you could lock it but i guess i'm wrong okay so i've i've seen and i am not very happy so i am going to take i'm going to do this and what will what i'll do is we'll come across here grab buildings props decals surfaces nodes trees everything grab like a, a whole block of of things i don't know is that enough no let's grab from here If I grab that, we come across. Oh, I need more space. Oh no, it can be like this actually. Oof, this is going to be. This is going to be hectic. Uh, to terrain height. Okay, you can go down now. Thank you. I'll then have to take these and put them back. <laughs> what happened to the, what happened to the building? Oh, flip! You know what? It's because of the it's because of this. Ugh. It's despawning anything that does not fall into into that style. Okay, so that's not that's this is not gonna work for me. I am not I'm not happy with the with how it looks like. I don't know. Maybe maybe I will I will give it a try again at and see. But I think zoning might. I mean manually putting all of these things down would be would probably work better for me bye we've just like destroyed half of this neighborhood completely uh, okay let me go back a bit because oh you can remove some houses and put small parks yes that is true but i don't like the fact that the houses that are there all look pretty much the same and i think that's that's what i'm trying to avoid i want to try and get like a complete mix mix and feel of them uh the lifespan is going to be trouble with so much. okay cool spoke about that you could zone blocks and plop other blocks to get some variety marvin woods that's a brilliant idea that is a brilliant idea i think i will do that Hey Sanctum, I've just watched Building Smooth Interchanges of Tando and I've loved it. Thank you so much, Don Minecraft One. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, by the way, I apologize to everybody who saw that episode as a spoiler by showing what my plans are. I, I'm sorry. Next time I do stuff like that, I'll put a big spoilers on that video. But let me know if the rest of you enjoyed that video because I've I've never done a video like that where i show my entire plan so if you like seeing stuff like that also let me know and then i can i can do more stuff like that as well okay reincarnation that is what it is <laughs> elderly and child care center there's there's an elderly there's an elderly cent elderly one somewhere here i built one here so we've got one here at least for the elderly so that's something right it's i mean it's not 
a lot, but maybe we can put one down again at some other point. Mm, do, do, do. If you mark the building as historical, it will look the same. Yeah, I'm, I am aware of that now. It's hard to mix houses when it's grid based. Curvy roads might make. Yeah, the thing is that the zoning though limits. The, the, the issue here is the fact that they all level up and they all get to level five. And I think in the urban pack, there are like five houses at the level level five level. So you end up with the same five houses repeating all the time. And that's what I don't want. So I want to mix the level five with the level four with the level three and so on. Then my range goes from just five to 25 houses. Then you get a lot more variety. So that's kind of my challenge there. Mm, it's hard to mix houses when it's grid based. Ah, okay, it converts it. <laughs> and more than spoiler was like a thinking process and I think that's the reason I liked it so much. Okay, cool, awesome. Tutorial style videos do always good in my experience. Yeah, the things I never know what to do. I've thought about doing tutorials, but I don't know what to do a tutorial on. That's the, that's my biggest challenge. I mean, if I had ideas of things that I, I think I could teach people, then I would. But I don't feel like I do anything unique to teach. So, eh, that's just me. How to reduce traffic? Is there a mod or something other? Well, there is... There is the, which mod is it? Uh, is it... Which one is it? There is a mod. <laughs> I can't remember which one it is. But there's a mod that allows you to clear all traffic. I just can't remember which one it is. But that's the closest to managing traffic, is clear all traffic. Alternatively, build your road layouts in a way that <laughs> you don't get traffic, I guess. But yeah, everybody, I think... I think this is actually a lot that we did in this episode. It's not as much as I had hoped. I really hoped to lay out a lot of the road networks around here to, to put down a whole bunch of houses, but that's not going to happen. So we'll leave it at this. Next week, Friday, will be the, the overview episode. Traffic manager. I think traffic manager. I don't use Chris. I don't use the realistic population mod, so it can't be that one in my. If I think about it, but they say mod, man. I just can't remember. Is this? Yeah, there it is. There's traffic manager. Clear all traffic. So if I click this button now, every car on the road disappears. I think it's it sends all residents home, and then they all start commuting again, and any cars that's on the roads just disappear so it clears the traffic momentarily and as all these people start making their way back to the work it starts building up the traffic again so your best way of managing the traffic is to ensure that your road network can handle the traffic that's your best bet mm. And clog up motorways in optimize. Okay. I didn't know about that on Krista L. Thank you. But otherwise, people, I think I think that's it. I think we've I still think this is this is good progress. I think we built we built a lot. A lot today. Because I had to balance building quickly but still maintaining the city of Tandu level of detail. And I think we got that. I think we got that pretty cool. So yeah. I think we'll be calling it a stream. I am I'm definitely gonna be streaming more different things. So not just River Valley. Definitely City of Tando will definitely stream some Nomersburg when we get back into it. And this also kind of opens up for me to to just do random once off things depending upon what i feel like building so 
yeah i'm gonna do more of the stuff that i want to do on the channel you know and not just limit myself and so by so doing hopefully have a bit more fun thanks chris thank you everybody for joining me on this stream i really appreciate it the stream is nothing without all of you and it's so cool to see people from so many different parts of the world always joining in really really appreciate it everybody if i missed anybody's chat i am so sorry i tried to keep up but yeah it was awesome it was fun thank you everybody who who donated during the stream i really appreciate it we will as you can see it's really helped because now we can stream city of tando with a, back, with a better graphics card so yeah thank you all so much i hope you all have a good good evening good morning good afternoon wherever you are and yeah i hope to catch you all in the next stream thank you everybody and have a good one bye